there, let's take a look at the stop loss automation tactic on the ad level. Ad performance can change quickly. You can have amazing results one day and overspend the next. Setting up stop loss on your ads is a fantastic way to defend your account against unnecessary spending and optimize your performance. The main function of stop loss is to pause unprofitable ads. If the ad has spent more than a certain amount and still hasn't performed up to par, the tactic will turn off for the day. First select the event you want to optimize for. Make sure that this event is something you expect to happen daily. If you choose an event that is too rare, the tactic might not trigger. On the ad level, you should select events that are a little further away from the purchase or lead event. As the ad set divides the budget between the ads, you want only the very top performers to stay in the race. For example, you should usually choose click, up on clicks or add to cart. Once you've set the desired trigger points, the tactic will only fire if the performance is below this amount, therefore making sure that only your top stay active. The values here are the recommended values for your account, but you can change them here. You can choose static values or use dynamic values, which are a great way to assure that your automation tactics stay relevant as your account changes. This is a daily tactic, so it resets every day at midnight or at whatever time you choose to set up here. Then you can choose which acquisition ads the tactic will apply to, and auto apply means that it will apply automatically to new ads you launch. To create automations for your retargeting and retention, head into custom automations and you'll be able to do so there. Setting up stop loss on your account will allow you to optimize your ads in real time and focus your attention on scaling your brand.